Thank you, Prime Minister. It is great to be here in Australia. New Zealand has no closer friend or partner than Australia, and it is great to be here on my first international travel uh, as Prime Minister of New Zealand. Uh, as you've mentioned, our countries are more than friends, we're family. And uh, in the great Trans-Tasman tradition, uh, I'm looking forward to working with you across a broad spectrum of issues that are important to both of our countries. Uh, so I welcome your commitment to our bilateral relationship, which was very clear from our discussion. Uh, and in turn, uh, I was happy to provide an, a, a, my government's commitment to continuing to work together and to continuing to strengthen the very strong trans-Tasman relationship. Uh, we had a wide-ranging discussion across economic, security and foreign policy issues. Uh, in particular, we discussed how global economic conditions post-COVID-19 are affecting New Zealanders and Australians alike. Uh, high interest rates, uh, cost of living pressures affect families here uh, and in New Zealand, and we uh, share a lot of uh, issues in common in that regard. Uh, both, but our countries don't have, uh, many other countries don't have the same closeness as New Zealand and Australia, and that's something that we will never take for granted in New Zealand. Uh, we're able to tackle issues together in ways that other countries can't. So we were able to talk about the opportunities to continue to strengthen our relationship. Uh, we did talk about the 40th anniversary of our closer economic relationship uh, agreement that underpins trans-Tasman trade that's important to both countries. Uh, I echoed the words of my predecessor uh, in matters around deportations, and we discussed the ongoing work that we have around addressing some of the issues regarding New Zealanders who live and work uh, permanently here in Australia. They're complex issues, but I do want to acknowledge and applaud uh, the positive progress that's been made in that regard over the last year, and we'll look forward to continuing to work on those issues. So uh, I'm looking forward to welcoming the Prime Minister to New Zealand uh, later on in the year for their next annual leaders meeting, which we're expecting to have uh, in the middle of the year.